stretch of recording. We're doing track after track, and the album is really coming together. Diddy is coming by to have a meeting with both bands and Donnie. Hey. Hello. So I came to, to give y'all an update. The guys are in the lead by an overwhelming margin. I want to commend y'all. Y'all are doing a great job. I'm going to start to put a more of a workload on y'all so we finish up more songs. And Donnie, I need to spend some time with you because we really don't have a vibe yet. But um, from what I've been hearing, your vocals have totally improved. Good job. As far as the girls, you know, when I was going, I heard some objections to some of my trains of thought. That happens, you know what I'm saying? Now, y'all are on point. Overall, I think y'all are doing a good job. Y'all go inside, get busy, y'all do your thing. All right. Are you ready? I've I'm always ready. been ready. <laughs> okay, cool. So. And we're here to make a hit record. On the shun, my only destination. We're going to keep the momentum going. Um, we're just going to go back and tweak. Come with me. And then it's another Beacock's joint we can start on right after this. Cool. It depends on how long y'all voices hold up today, how much we can get done. We're past the halfway point. I've only done two songs. It's a competition for studio time, first and foremost, to get the songs done. Between Danny Kane, the group, myself, it's definitely tough getting into the studio. Dope. Yo. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? What's going on? Donnie. Jim Beans, man. Nice, nice to meet you. meet you. So I'm finally getting into the studio. I'm starting a song called Beautiful Escape. We're banging it out, and I just can't wait to get started. Then the rain starts pouring down. I hear the sound of the ocean. I don't mean to cut y'all off, but I just got the call from Rad. It's, I know we're moving stuff around. It's just hectic. Jim Beans gets called out of the studio to go work with the girls. I've been waiting so long to get into the studio. Here I am, banged out a verse, and we got to stop. She switched it around. Yeah. It's dope, man. I'm going to come back for you. Don't All worry. Right. We're going to finish this joint up or whatever. Damn. Are you please? No. Dude, what's that? He's got crab cake. Ooh, Don's like, I'm so on that. Best crab cake ever is in Baltimore. But like, Don't you know this, like the crab place mm. in the world? That's the only thing so Baltimore much. is good for. Is that the first thing you've ever been happy about in Baltimore? Like, there's nothing popping in Baltimore, y'all. But I feel like when you go from a place like New Orleans to Baltimore, Baltimore, yeah. like, that's a hard move. Well, that was my just city, so, like... too, y'all. Like, that was my city. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can go back now. No, I can't. It's not the same. No, not nobody lives there. Hurricane Katrina is the reason why I no longer live in New Orleans. Our home, our days in school. We lost everything. That was my situation. And after sleeping in the car for like three or four days, um, and, and really having nowhere to go. We totally relocated in Baltimore. That when I want to be here and nowhere else. It's never... You know what I mean? Like, every time we're on tour, every time I just want to be... Away. Here, away. From everything. Don is very much the, the person that we go to and confide in. And I think a lot of times, you know, we forget that she has her own issues, too. She very rarely lets, like, her emotions get the best of her. She'll put her iPod on, and she goes into this, you know, inward. And it's not always, you know, the best thing to do. I've just been through a lot in my life, so, like, I'm very just kind of... I'm just always alone. You like to be, <laughs> you like, to be you like your space. And she'll make it, like, uncomfortable to the point where you yeah. don't want to be in her space. No, you don't talk to me. Huh? I'll talk to you. Don't give a <laughs> Well, that's different, Papa. You got a different rain over me, oh. so you can do that. You can give us on the weekend, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you look at Q, me and Shannon are like, whatever. Really? Do we look at each other like that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we do. <laughs> 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 Thank you.
Really? Yes. Oh, I never think you guys look out, like intensely just really <laughs> longing and I know you very I, I, okay wait no, your intensity your intensity is here his intensity is here I just be looking at him No you don't really? you don't look at me like that <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you start looking at me. I know like, he's oh, my friend gosh. guys oh my god <laughs> He's just a friend. Q. Q and I, we've, we have a bond. We've determined that we're going to be best buddies. He gives me a little bit of something nice, you know what I mean? Like a friendship thing. But last night, they try so they hard, try to, so hard go, to go to my booty. They go to your booty. <laughs> <laughs> and he they doesn't even give him that look like. his little hands were like. <laughs> he doesn't know what to put him. He's like, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> but. It's gonna lead to more. Cute. I wouldn't mind him singing on our record. He loves Don. No. <laughs> Let's go, DK. Hi. You guys around. Let's go. You win. Have a good day, guys. A lot of the times, the guys, the girls, they all go to the studio and there's no time slot for me to record, so I stay at home and, I mean, I feel a little left out. I'm doing everything I'm asked to do, learning the music they give me to do. I'm hitting it when I get into the studio, not taking too long. I just definitely don't want to fail. I don't think they have songs for me. I know, but you gotta go knocking on these producers' doors, like, right for me. Well, I... Am now. I've talked to all the producers and they tell me, don't worry, it's coming, the songs are coming, but I, mean, I don't see them, I don't hear them, nobody gave me a CD. <sighs> you have to get them to do something for you. They did these tracks for us that are unbelievable. Unbelievable. For the guys? Both. For us, and the guys came in and heard ours and they were like, that's like something you've never heard before. It's wow. so disgusting and it's like the catchiest songs, like, and the guy's song is just straight, like, just, like, just so sexy. I don't really know why I'm not recording as much as the groups, especially I'm a solo artist. I have one voice, one voice on one song, it's gonna end up getting tired out. I'm getting more and more nervous every day that I might never make an album. You just have to believe in it. Poor Donnie. Ladies, don't you feel sorry for him? Don't you just wanna give him a hug? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw in one of my go-to guys, one of my go-to producers from the Hitmen, Seven. See, Seven is a hit maker. Worked with, you know, Ja Rule and Shanti and Earth Gotti, and just one of them musical geniuses of our time. I'm gonna set him up with Donnie, see if they get a little chemistry going. How do you see yourself on stage? Do you see yourself dancing? Or do you see yourself like more of, of a crooner? To go either way. Yeah? To really go either way, yeah. I feel like it's lost right now, that's what I feel like. It's Justin Timberlake, mm. and then it's Robin Thicke. Somewhere in between. And in between is wide open. Mm -hmm. I want to help cultivate Donnie the artist. You know, you got your own channel. You got to turn your channel on. Yes. That's what I'm here to do. Okay. Channel 7. Let's go. Right. Okay. Oh, hold on, come back, come back. Before I throw y'all in there with 7, there's something that I need to tell you about this guy. This guy is a little bit in a good way. In a good way. We need people like him in the music industry. So just brace yourselves. World meets seven. What the hell? Uh, the first thing I see is a lot of smoke and lights and candles and stuff. Donnie, so so this is my partner, you know him? Okay, cool. What's up? Donnie from Israel. Nice to meet you. This is Dr. Fink from Prince of the Revolution. <laughs> Adding that sick sauce. We got a sick team, man. All positive, good energy. Seven definitely seems from space. I have to show them I'm not nervous, even though I am nervous. You know, tonight's the first night of Hanukkah, you know what I'm saying? We, we bring in all the different energy we can, man, to keep it positive. Miracles and wonders, you know, just positivity. <coughs> we gotta keep the smoke. Sometimes I can't even see the person in front of me, mm -hmm. but that's the vibe. And usually, you know, my doves. <laughs> I gotta keep the doves in another room, because sometimes it gets too loud, you know what I'm saying? And their feathers, you know what I'm saying, I gotta respect the doves. So.
presentation is ridiculous. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm like, I'm absolutely floored right now. That is ridiculous because it's so different and it's still so commercial. I want to let you hear another record. All right. This is, this is from my album. This is called Rolling Stone. But I, but I want you to check it though. Because right. maybe, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you, Maybe, maybe you might like it, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I might give it up. <laughs> we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. It's crazy, though. Exactly, like it's pop rock R and B with like synth techno, like it's everything. It's everything. I'm, I was ready to walk out of the room. <laughs> Yo, I thought you were like, what are you doing? Yeah, you know, he's walking back in the back, whatever. But I don't want to you know. be cheesing too hard. Or... Sonically, <laughs> your album needs to feel like that. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Slide it on over. You say I'm falling behind. 100% into this. Thank you. Wow. When you talk so, to Park, tell him that too. Just tell him, like, like, this is crazy. I like butterflies in my stomach over this. <laughs> Love that. Love that. That's what's up. I got the green light. I got a little fire. Nobody ain't trying to be no boyfriend, girlfriend. Nobody ain't trying to be in a relationship. We made it very clear. It's, we're just friends. So did you explain that to IQ, that you just want, like, you're just like, I just want to be friends and nothing? Yeah, he, I mean, he made it very obvious, too. Like, I think he wants to be. You think he wants to be? Yeah. With me? Yeah. Really? I think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think, I think we're just cool and... Why are you doing that? I think that you shouldn't be so afraid to let, like, a good thing happen to you. He's, you're right, he is young. But I don't think he's as young as maybe you're, like, that you keep putting in your mind. It's okay to have a crush. It's okay to, like, want to feel good. When it comes to anything in, in my life that, if it touches too close to the heart, I don't know how sometimes to express the hurt that I feel about what happened to me, and so I close it in. I don't know. I don't want to hurt nobody. But I want to be happy. Don is a beautiful girl, and I can see me and Don together. Like, but we're just friends. Like, she's dope. That's all. She's Don is dope. Look at me, Don. Don. That's not looking at me. Mm -hmm. You're not looking at me because I have this black. I can't see. I'm looking at your lips. That's enough for me. You're looking at my lips. <laughs> Why are you looking at my lips? So much <laughs> Cute. I think he's just, he's quiet. And I think sometimes with me being the way I am, we just work. We're just buddy. My just buddy. buddies. Look, I kiss you on your cheek. My buddy. Whatever. Kiss me my cheek. No, no, just. <laughs> Give me a kiss on your cheek. I'm not going to kiss you. Just buddies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm going to bed with you. <laughs> you are funny. This is the factory up in here. We're in here grinding day and night, night and day. Look at that beautiful pool. We ain't swimming in the pool. We ain't hoopa locking around this bitch. We trying to get this money. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Heard any songs? Um, yeah, I heard a couple of joints. We still trying to figure out figure out what what your what your vibe is going to be. Yeah? Are you kidding me? Seven is an incredible producer, but that he's not sure if this is the sound. And I was so excited about it. Once we hit it, we'll know. We're just searching right now. We don't want you to sound like nobody. We don't want to just make a regular album. So it's going to take some time for experimentation. Hopefully, we'll be able to have a breakthrough soon, though. 
the guys, the girls, I feel like they're just on highways and I keep hitting these speed bumps. What are you, what are you asking me now? I was like saying you was talking, you was going through something today. I think it's time for me to... Move on. Yeah, I think... To for... bigger and younger things. You are so funny. You got a whole life ahead of you. <laughs> of freedom. Yeah. You're a nice girl. I am. You're a really nice guy. Thank but you. you don't need to be trapped. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. You need wings, big ones. Yeah. And you just go. And don't look back. No? No. Really? This is my first time with y'all. I'm looking to get to know each and every one of y'all, just like I know the guys. Ankara is the vocal coach for the boys. We have yet to work with him, and so he's kind of getting a feel of our voices and see where we're at. My process is, let me open up myself fully. I want y'all to be open. Let's be vulnerable. Just go deeper emotionally. I'm open, I'm here for you, and any place that you want to go, we can go musically. Y'all ready to sing? Mm-hmm. Baby, just hold me Because your arms, they keep away the lonelies And when I look into your eyes Then I realize All I need is you in my life Cause I've never felt this way I'm loving you I'm sorry about what? That last note? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> good. <laughs> mm -mm. I mean, the last note is, is important because that's the last thing that somebody hears. But you don't have to apologize. Not for what you just did. So how do you feel up there singing those type of songs? I love how it makes me feel. I, I can connect to it even if I don't feel that way. Like, I can go back to being that way. OK. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Who's next? Come on. <laughs> so come on. God is the joy and the strength of my life. You promise to keep me, never to leave me. He's never ever falling short of his word. God is my all. That's where you at? I'm always there. Always there. It's a nice place to be. Mm. So, Dawn, I would like for you to really share that place with us. You're not sharing that place with no, us. No, I, I am sharing it. No, you're not. That song was all about you. So how can you make it all about you and all about us at the same time? Stop being closed off? Yeah. You want to see me? God is the joy and the strength of my life. That's right, connect with us, come on. He moves all pain. Connect with us. Misery and strife. Connect with us, Dawn. You gotta connect with us. He promised to keep me, never to leave me. Come on, let it happen. He's never Falling short of his word. How you hold on to I've it? I've got to fast and pray. Come on, open your eyes. Come on, come on. Stay in the narrow Open up, way. open up. Keep my life clean. Come on, baby, come on. I want to go with him when he comes back. Open your eyes, come on with us. I've come too far. Come on with us. I turn back. God is my own. You're not looking. You gotta let us in, baby. You gotta let us in. If you let us in, then that stuff can get out. And then you'll have more room for more stuff. 
done. This girl has been through a lot. She just seems so like pure and honest. She's like, she seems perfect, like the perfect girl. I wouldn't want her to just walk away and just pass up. So. You gotta let it out. There's no getting over it. You gotta come through it. It's gonna happen, it'll be all right. I promise you. You should write a song. What is it gonna be about? I don't know. What do you want it to be about? You should write a song about. What do you feel? What do I feel? A hundred things at once. <laughs> do you want it to be a sad song or a happy song? Some days I feel melancholy. Some days I feel happiness. Some days I feel stress. Some days I feel good. Some days I feel not so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that's too deep for what we. No. <laughs> you trying to go hard on court? It's crazy. But I don't know how to play it. You should just, like sit right here because you. How you want to start it off? With you starting it off. Really? I'm going to start off. Basically, like, I'm, I'm going to start my story off when I was three. And I'm basically going to say, like, basically, I'll have one more year before I was four. Because when I was four, my father died. So, what if I could be three again? I mean, I could spend, like, one more year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then from there, it's going, like, get, I want to get deep going like that. Right yeah. But that's, that's how people, that's, that's, you really can connect to the song. You know what I'm saying? Um, my story's not like that, though. That's, that's what's gonna make it dope, though. Cause it's like two different stories. And the bridge, the stories can come together. I don't wanna go there. That was a hard time for me. You just gotta get it out, though. I like to close things in so much easier. Did you ever get it out? I never really cried. Did you ever cry? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Well, see, for me, Katrina, I mean, there was no money and no clothes <laughs> and nobody. And I'm starting from scratch. I have a void that's not fulfilled. So music's happiness. When you lose everything around you, you tend to not want to go on. I feel like I've been holding my breath for so long. And I think for the first time, I'm, I'm realizing I'm okay. I think we came out all right, though, right? You came out My sex symbols is turning out. Today we get a surprise. Mike Bivens, he knows us all, like totally. Mike makes everything so much better when he comes around. Let me get it. So Puffy, he, he happy with it? Yeah, he loves love yes. everything. I do feel like I'm kind of getting lost in the shuffle. It's tough, because I can't really get a good flow going. How do you really feel, like me and you one-on-one? -on -one? I mean, at first, I'll be honest, we came down here, I felt extremely out of the loop. Like, the guys were getting sessions. I had one session the first week, and the guys, the girls, they were getting songs thrown at them, they were getting sessions, and I was just sitting around working out. Oh, uh, you was going heavy with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't feel like that, man. You could really, really go really far, man. You got the look, you're gonna have the sound. You know, you have an audience that's rooting for you. So you got everything going for you. And you got one of the best presidents in the game. And I know he got love for you, or he wouldn't even have you down here. Mm -hmm. Mike knows Diddy, and he basically told me, he's a hard man to please, and he's just trying to get the best out of me. Because at the end of the day, you know with Puff, he's gonna make sure your music is gonna be right, because you got a special situation. And only you could really be your downfall, man. Mm -hmm. Just stay humble, man, and, and, and just keep thinking New York when you came to that club, man. You just wanted to get on. Just remember how it felt trying to get on. You got just as much of an important role as the starting five, and um, I think you're going to shine, man. Believe me, man. I trust you. Donnie. What's up? I'm yeah. bubbling right now.
And Paige Puff, I was like, yo, man, listen, I got a, I caught a major vibe with Donnie last night. I want to be the Timberland to his Timberlake and give that kind of support to him as an artist. Mm -hmm. And he was like, okay, let's go. He said, yeah? Yeah. This is the making a thrill, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love that surgery. That's, surgery was bananas. Killing, 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 mm. killing. Ooh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm calling in Code Blue. Got to rescue you with my medicine. One more time. Oh, that was... That was cold. That, that was cold. That yo. was? Yeah, you bug it. Me and Seven have been just going off a crazy vibe, and there's just a great energy in the room. And now, finally, the material is coming along. We're working on one style, one sound, and we made it amazing. Donnie, Don, you get the pink ball. I guess, whatever. You're going to beat me anyway. You got to make it inside there. OK, what I get if I do? If you make it, I'll kiss you. <laughs> whatever. Ladies first. No kissy for you. I'm patient. It looks like it'd be a great kiss, though. You never know. Girls talk about your lips all the time. They say, oh, kiss lips. Are they really as great as people say? I think so. You think so? You just got to hit it on the first try and see. <laughs> That's not fair. You I scored. <laughs> Do you know how to hit it? Are you hitting it right? Huh? Open your legs some more. I'm sure you got to hit a shot. You got to kind of finesse it so you kind of like guide it with it. <laughs> That's not hot, though, Q. I didn't make it. I know, but... It is closer, though. It was close. You got to finesse it. It's kind of like sex. How do you know about that, Q? I'm trying to show you. How do you know about that, Q? You got to hit it. You know about, you know about finesse sex, Q? And you got to guide it in. And, but you got to go slow. Q, you can't get in the hole. I can get in the hole. You can't get it. in the hole, Q. <laughs> Q, you just a little bit short of the hole. A little bit short. So if you, if you don't make it this time, you still get kissed. I get kissed kiss. whatever the damn I want to get kissed. You want for real? Yeah. Come get a kiss, then. No. If you got it like that. I do have it like that. See, I can just hit one hand and make it. You talking so much game right now. You could have grabbed the lips. You scared. I could have. You scared of my lips. It's OK, though. Things with me and Donna get it better. I think we're starting to feel more comfortable around each other. And we have chemistry and can't even hide it no more. Like, Donna's a beautiful girl, and I like Don, and that's what it is. Heat. You gotta hear this. You know, we had a vision. We got spaceships right above us right yeah, now, you know what I'm saying? A whole fleet of starships. They hover and waiting. Yeah. Play the record. Crazy, right? Tomorrow, you got the medicine. <laughs> One hundred percent, Liliana. Right? I love it. Finally, somebody's excited about the sound I'm creating. Now let's pump out these hits. It's nice out here. So you like owe me a kiss? <laughs> you going there? From you, you didn't make it. You're supposed to make it, you need a kiss, but you didn't make it, so you still like owe me a kiss. I think you just want my kiss. I know. I have a kiss. <laughs> you was honest. You can have whatever you want. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're making me blush. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Talking. Foul. Good stuff. Q, are you gonna kiss her yet? If you only know. Just one for me. <laughs> whole time. I've been hearing all the guys' tracks, been hearing the girls' songs, all hot, hot songs. I can't wait to show them these songs I do at seven. Oh, this is my song. My new song I did yesterday. They're losers.
And right now, <laughs> so you better watch out for Donnie. That's what I think. I am still the underdog. I'm starting in last place, but I'm feeling more confident because I have songs that fit me. My album is starting to sound like an album. <laughs> The song is about a female who, who's a good girl, but when the lights go down, her dark side comes out. Energy, and we actually had a chance to just live on the track. It's fun. Baby, won't you please? <laughs> Almost. Here we go. Come on. Baby, won't you please? Baby, won't you please? Woo! Oh, my God. That's it. You ain't never, ever, never, ever seen a girl like me. Celebration, y'all. We have finished the albums. Kennedy Kane comes out tomorrow, tomorrow, March 18th. Day 26 comes out next week, Tuesday. Next week, March 25th. Oh, we can't put out these albums without shooting the album covers. Nice guys. We also gonna get them ready for the live show. Do you got a first candy? So we can see him perform. I, 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 I love that, that song. song. This, this is like my dream come true. This is what we all live for, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the ride. Today is the photo shoot for the album cover. Keep it going. And I'm feeling real debonair. We have to put our sexy on, and you know I'm bringing sexy back. That's it, guys. Brilliant. I love doing photo shoots, man. That's just something else that I like to do, modeling, you know? So that's one of the many talents. It doesn't look like your first album. That's what I like about this. It looks like you know what you're doing. You, just, you know what I'm saying? Hey, well, we got the finest group yeah. in the world. It must be something in the air. I feel good. My group, we all look good. My dreams are finally coming true. You know, sky's the limit. You know, I have a lot of faith in my group members. Yeah. It ain't nothing that can stop us. If you are what you say you are, a superstar, then have no Tonight we're headed up to Fort Lauderdale, we'll go to a club, make a guest appearance, you know, give the crowd a little song, you know, exclusive. DK is coming to support us, Donnie's coming to support us, so we're going to shut it down. We're going to go show them what we got for real now. All right, number one, if you are in a club and the stage is here and the crowd is here, do not jump off the stage. <laughs> The stage was empty. Like, nobody was on stage, and you just heard little voices. So we was just like, where are they? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bad boy. Yo, Mike, Mike, where you going, baby? Bad boy. Bad boy. Yo, hey, yo, ladies. Get off the stage, because this is a club. <laughs> and everybody's waiting, and like no one says their name. And we're just kind of like, what's going on? Yo, go ahead. You. Yeah. Introduce yourself, this. Yeah, yeah. Yo, what up, ladies? It's your boy, Brian A. I appreciate y'all allowing us to come yeah. by and do our thing, all right? Yeah, yeah. It was having a rock star moment, couldn't get them off stage. <sighs> Reel it in. <laughs> Reel it in. We can, we can, and then put the music back on, and then they got off stage. We killed it. Number one. I should have ordered that. You should have. So, ladies, how do you guys feel about our performance last night? Good. Good. I feel like you guys had good energy. The only thing is like, because we were on a balcony and y'all was mostly only playing to that first section. Okay. I mean, because you know, y'all are, you know, a little bit more experienced, you know, at, at this point right now. So we're getting pointed, so. I think we yeah. introduce yourselves. They could move along a little faster. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that made a drag. Yeah. And just say your name. Don't be like, you know, you know, right. ladies and, you know, hey, everybody to that. And then out, because it's a club. I mean, you know, we get better. We just gonna have to learn how to feel each other on stage and, and work those kind of things out, but. It wasn't the worst show in the world. Something about me has got you in the tags. Today we're doing a photo shoot. We're gonna be doing the sea shots. Have fun with this girl. Uh-oh. Uh we've got hair, we've got makeup, we've gotta be glimmered, glamoured, jeweled in every way. We're held to a high standard. I wanna like just very messy. See, we've done quite a lot of shoots, and you start to know what you want and exactly how you want to look. So I think we're a little more vocal about how things are going to be. Is that neutral? Mm -hmm. okay. Is my crease really dark? Mm-hmm. Lovely. That's it. That's beautiful. Pretty. I like the light on your breasts. <laughs> I think I got it, but you, it's your picture, so if there's anything... That... We were able to dress ourselves, we weren't being told what to wear, we weren't even really being told how to pose, we were able to just do what we felt comfortable with. I think it's gonna come out pretty good. I want to sit down and talk to y'all today about your image, you know, and your image going forward. Right now, my focus is the album cover. I want to put together a super glam squad for y'all so we could put the full court press on making sure that we get to an image that we both love and agree with. I'm not trying to have a session where I beat y'all down about your image. I want to show y'all some things and get y'all thoughts on it. First of all, Shannon, Let's talk about the choice of hair color change, and is this something you, you feel you want to stay with? I really like it. I mean, I, I love being blonde, too, but mm. um, I like it. it. I hate it. You do? Yeah. I think it makes you look hard. It puts age on you, unnecessary age. You're a very beautiful girl. <laughs> now you, um, Andrea, you look pleasantly plump here. I mean, in person, you don't really look like this. So I don't know if it's the way the picture was taken. Was you, it, I you, think it was the dress that kind of... But also your hair, some of the hairstyles that I've seen, y'all look overly glamorous, like where it's just a lot of hair. It's a lot of fake hair, a lot of fake eyelashes, a lot of makeup. And um, we'll get to you in a second with that, Aubrey. But um, 
I'm, I really want to try to go for more of a fashion forward image for y'all and something that feels real. D Woods, I think if anybody, you're in the right direction. I, I do like the piece, but when you look at like just the beauty of your face right there, if you just shape it there, it's turning into like a beautiful shape. And um, I think that today you, you look beautiful today. Out of everybody, we haven't really even scratched the surface on your beauty. We need to make sure that we take you more in the beautiful direction and don't take you in the other direction where it's anything makes you look harder. I think the most drastic makeover is, is you, Aubrey. The reason why I wanted you to be in the group was because you had this natural hometown girl type of vibe, you know? And I've seen more hair on you than even, like, I didn't even know they sold this much hair. That's my feelings or thoughts on it. You have anything to say there on that? I feel y'all should be one fierce group, not just from a singing standpoint, but from a fashion standpoint. Y'all should be the future. Y'all shouldn't be the past. Okay? All right. Thank you. It bothers me when he says stuff about Shannon. I'm just gonna be real. It really bothers me. Like, I wanna be like, you know what? Da -da 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 -da. I think her hair looks amazing red. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I have to take off all my makeup, guys. As I put on more makeup. <laughs> right? My thing is, what then is it then? What, what can we do? Can I so honestly what? tell you what you do? Be happy with who you are. I am. And I am. put a perm on it. We all just really love big hair. And who doesn't, honestly? Like, I feel like the bigger, the better. <laughs> just love being you. I am. I do. I love being me, and I love wearing makeup. Last night in Miami, it flew by. Our time is coming short. You know, we're gonna throw our own party. Our theme for tonight is fiesta because it's a margarita party. Chicken tacos. Can you make chicken tacos too? That's gonna be great. We're gonna let Dre handle all the tacos because Lord knows I don't cook it. Mm, my drink's gonna be so good. My responsibility tonight could be considered the bartender. And don't act like it isn't an important job, folks. I'm just gonna mix a little of everything. Mmm, wow. <laughs> it looks yummy. Yeah, so I'm talking about Aubrey. What is this flavor? It's mango and a little bit of something else. It's a little bit of Aubrey, Aubrey juice. juice. <laughs> Aubrey juice. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, Aubrey. Is eating. We all had, you know, our yummy margaritas, but there is just not a fiesta without a mariachi band. we've had in the house, and I don't know who's cleaning up all this mess, but night, y'all. This place is so crazy when there's not a gazillion people mm -hmm. snacking around in it. Whenever you put out an album, you must do like a showcase. It's important to let them know that you're back, baby. Damn it, damn it. You invite all of the entertainment industries, executives, you get them all in one room. You just have a good time good and you time. let them hear the music. Hear the and music. It's about showcasing your talent. talent. It's really about showing off. Woo! Well, more two tracks here. 
So this is our first public performance of our new single, Got Me Going. All right, let's go, let's go. Maybe we can redeem ourselves from Fort Lauderdale, because that was not good. Maybe play right the middle yeah. of this. Check, Just so we utilize the space. Start it from the top. Stop the music. Let's take it from the top again. This needs work. Come on. Yo, the um, choreography is going to get cut. We're rehearsing, and unfortunately, things aren't looking good. Danny King was just up here catching every single step, five girls spinning, all types of stuff. If we're not prepared for it, then we can't do it. Today we're getting makeovers in preparation for our new album photo shoot and we're really anxious to see what changes Puff wants to make. We're all gonna go back there and then I'm gonna take one by one and then we start to talk about it, we do color and everything. Look at for you, Aubrey, this look. Nice and clean and beautiful. Did he tell you to make us clean? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the goal is to find a happy medium between what Diddy likes and who we really are. Are they smoking crack? I'm not cutting my hair that short. I don't think they're cool. I think they're going for the shit. Every the picture head. they have is just short hair. I'm not doing that. Sometimes that's very opposite. I will gag if scissors come near me. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to her, then I take you guys, and then we do one by one. Perfect. If it's dark and wavy, it easily gets quite... Like a blob. Blob. Now the length, are you gonna go? I'm, I, I like the length. I would even like to go a little bit, like a little, maybe like a little bit longer. Hmm. I want the color, actually. I like I really, that color. It, I think that's gonna be too bleach for you. Oh, okay. I want you to look like more a bit of Bridget Bordeaux. Yes, Farrah Fawcett, you know, like 70s there. porn star, minus the sex on camera. No porn star. Did he pick that or you pick that? It needs to be wavy, but it can't be too big. I don't want to be. You know, like, oh. Uh, but how short are we talking? Somewhere somewhere here, it's like, that is almost a bit too long because really? that makes it, the, yeah, believe me, it's the, it's exactly that. All right. I got to talk to you about Shatner just a little bit. About? Shatner. OK, we'll call it. Yeah. Look, she already has highlights in here. Mm -hmm. So if you highlight those highlights, we can process them. And they've already time. turned, like, a weird pinkish. If we do do a blunt, something bad could happen. Let's do a few test strands and see. I'm a little worried about Shannon's hair because to take a blonde to red is an easy thing, but to take a redhead back to being blonde, it's very difficult. <laughs> this is as much as you're gonna get out of her color. Uh oh, <laughs> it's like pinky orange. She'll be like a strawberry -ish. Do you need a brown paper bag? No, I'll let you know that. It's so funny, Shannon's personality, like, she's so calm about everything. And I'm sitting there like, oh my god, Shannon, like, what's going on? What are they doing to your hair? Damaged, my hair's damaged. <laughs> it actually... Wait, mm -hmm. I know you're gonna say that it's it's not bad. That yeah. just come right off. This is even worse here. It is. This is, I mean... That means when she gets it wet, combs it herself. She's gonna get to, over the next few weeks. It's just gonna. Oh. Yeah, it's 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 it is dangerous. That's really dangerous now. Man, with with what I've been hearing, man, I'm surprised y'all so calm, man. We rehearsed for the show, and we have a new choreographer. His name is Fly. Did y'all see something? Well, we just really like losing oh, yeah, rocking the land. All we gotta do is hammer out. Got me going. We just gonna nip <coughs> with it so it has a flow. We gotta nail it. Y'all was born into a group together under pressure. Y'all was made into a group under pressure. I'm sure pressure don't make you shake, you know? Just do be focused on, all right? Pull up this way. In front of the wheel? Outside, yeah. So this wheel's oh. already like right here. Pull right into it. Boom, boom, boom. Right in the window. Mm. And then boom. Ah. You know, we working hard trying to nail every step. When we get on stage, it's no problems, no errors or anything. It's got to be that kind of intensity. We just try to have a flawless show. I don't have to dance big on that you part to get there, there, just to get I'll there. Get there. <laughs> back up. My back, too, got to back up. Mm, keep your eyes on the front. 
Smooth transfer. Right into it, boom. Now, see how it's different? Now, this is where you come up, Q. Look down, see? Have fun with that dance. Oh, uh-huh. Keep your chest out, frolic your chest out, present forward. You still want to know that monitor be right there. Make sure you got your window. Smooth transfer. Very good. Shoulders, that was the answer. All of a sudden, they look right sometimes. Like Danny D. Kane, they, they know how to dance. They know. They learning right now how to be a team. All right, being robbed. What you just did was natural. What I want, I'm gonna give her a bang. I'm gonna layer the front because that's gonna be cut anyway to here. If I get just highlights Some around highlights. here to break that up because that already makes the whole thing much lighter here. We go lighter, where are I gonna cut it? In the back, we just almost leave it. I'm gonna do everything with extensions in the back to make it a little lighter. I'm a little nervous. The whole process of going back to blonde is a difficult process. I hear, but you know, like, okay. Yeah, so good we're trying to meet a middle ground with Diddy and make sure that we're giving him the look that he wants, but still feeling comfortable with ourselves. I look so attractive right now, it's not even funny. We're kind of going on a prayer right now, hoping that Diddy would like this look, and hopefully we'll all be happy. We've been here since 8 a.m. and it is now like 9 o'clock at night. And Diddy is on his way to the salon, which is a little worried that um, he's going to hate it and we're going to have to go back to the drawing board. And everyone's really ready to go home. Hopefully, Diddy loves it. Hey, boss man. Hey. Hi. What's up? Transformation. <laughs> I like it. That's hot. You like it? Oh. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I do. He gives me a, I like it. I love it. That's sexy. I was like, oh, OK. Like it up, straight? Yeah. Uh-oh. Beautiful. Yeah. Bridget Bardo. <laughs> Look good. Yeah. I think I'm going to agree with Diddy. Folks, this is the first time in history. Let's mark this moment. I am agreeing with Mr. Combs. Yeah. I think that the extensions and the lashes gotta go. That look good, though. Who's that talking? Oh, is that know. him talking? Yeah, talking. <laughs> Does he talk like that usually? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all straight. Y'all don't look like nothing I've seen before. Y'all look like the fashion trend. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of your faces look slimmer and more beautiful and look like everybody's modern and forward looking. You know what I'm saying? Like, Y'all looking like Danny D. Kane, like the dream group, you know? So tomorrow, you know, y'all put on them heels, turn on that music, take them pictures and have fun. Y'all look like y'all about to sell a lot of records. You know what I'm saying? It feels like that. It's moments like these that make me realize exactly what Puff is. He's not this mean dictator. He's not a guy that's trying to bring us down and hurt our feelings. He really is somebody who is trying to bring out the best in his artists. Today we're shooting our album cover and we're really excited because we're putting it out there that Welcome to the Dollhouse is gonna be the title of our album. It's really kind of inviting our listeners to come into our world and see things from our perspective. The images are going to be really, really beautiful. Classic photos, very high fashion. This is our baby. We came up with these concepts of how we wanted our album to look. Four 
we're on our third loop now. So we have one more still, and I think we've been here for like nine hours. I think this is gonna be the actual cover. This is our, you know, extra dollhousey lingerie. Oh, I'm so faint. There we go. Beautiful. You're gorgeous. Tonight's the night we're going to go perform at R&B Lab. It's a bad boy night tonight. Big round applause for my man Pete Diddy in the house, everybody. Come on, give it to him. Give it to him. Let's clap it up, everybody. Come on, let's go. We're ready to rock and roll. Come on. This show means a whole lot. We have some redeeming to do. <laughs> Boss Man Diddy will be front and center. So, we gotta impress him. It's time for the show. We're in front of everybody in the industry. So we're finna bring it. And y'all finna see how we do it. What the hell is going on? The mics start to go out, different mics at different times. And it's all confusion. Nobody knows really what's going on. We know we have to make this look good. But the sound was horrible. One, one, one. Why don't we try to get this sound right so we can do it the right way, real quick. Sorry about the inconvenience, y'all. We're gonna come back. This group is important to me. I appreciate y'all coming out, and I want y'all to see them the right way. Thank y'all very much. We'll take a brief intermission. Thank you. And I would like everybody in here right now to welcome these young men back to the stage. Everybody, please, a big, big round of applause for making out the band for everybody. Give it to them, y'all. Come on, let's go.
help me in welcoming Danny K. Danity Kane album in stores tomorrow. That was great. I'm so proud of these groups, especially Day 26. They didn't fold under the pressure. Everything I taught them, they did. My girls, you know, they in rare form. They're ready. We're going to Atlantic to hear what our staff at Atlantic has in mind for the marketing and promotions, the radio promo, all that stuff. Bad boy is the swagger. Atlantic is the resource. Everybody's there, from our production team to our street team, to the head man at Atlantic, down. Our Pierre is sitting at the front of the table. I'm kind of nervous because I've never been in a big meeting like this, so I don't know what to expect. What's up, everybody? Hi. All right, so let's just go with Danny D. Kane first. The album's coming out March 18th. We serviced the song out to radio already. John Lewis, let us know what's going on. Early feedback has been fantastic. Like, this is just a great time to have such a great up-tempo track. Feedback in New York is great. Philadelphia, Woo! Phoenix, Detroit, Pittsburgh, all those markets are really loving this track. <laughs> We're gonna get ready to kick off the promo tour. The radio horse. I want a radio, 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 radio. Quality time in each market, so get ready. Are there things that you guys want to throw at us, stuff that bothers you and stuff that you'd like to do, just so we know before setting it all up? The schedules would be great. Like, yeah. sometimes we, we, we don't get the schedule. We get it, like, five seconds, and we have no idea what's going on. A lot of times we'll go into stations, and they don't have the records mm. with them. They don't have the records. Mm. They haven't heard it. And it's something we know about the radio stations, radio too. Station. Yeah. 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 yeah, the names. Yeah. Coming into this meeting and having that experience behind us prepares us to be able to talk to these people like artists who know exactly what they want. Anybody else? The guys look so lost and kind of like, um, am I supposed to talk right now or what? The five guys basically you heard everything we're talking about with Danny Kane. We're gonna definitely implement the same for you guys. Just to touch on Donnie real quick, he should have a single maybe about two, three weeks on radio. But we played your song like three times last night and everybody was going crazy. We're in a good spot. Danny Kane's here, they're very experienced with the road and everything like that. You gotta nurture your relationship with the girls, just even on a business level, for them to just help educate y'all. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even laugh. I just wanted to think that was funny. <laughs> Let them educate y'all on things that y'all might not know, so really, like, pick their brain, because we're about to get on this freight train that's not gonna stop. Yeah. We gotta go start the promo tour and get things cracking. So here we come, New York City. Hi, ladies. Good morning. Hi. 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 
<laughs> One of the places that we're going to be stopping by is a very, very good friend of ours, Miss Jones. <laughs> so reintroduce yourselves to me and everybody. I'm Dawn. Hey, everybody. I'm Andrea. I'm <laughs> Shannon. What's up? I'm Aubrey. What's up? This is Dee Woods. Hey, How you doing? Hi, guys. This is our third visit to this woman. The first time it was our competition season that went kind of, you know, weird. It's old. <laughs> Got thrown under the bus. The second time, we had just been put together as a group. We didn't know that she was going to go in so harshly. We want to hear you guys sing. Y'all are whack. Well, you was just not. No, for real. Like, this is, I've never in my life. She still didn't like us. And now this time, we're just, we're just going to prepare for the worst. Maybe the third time's a charm. I just want to say, people didn't believe in you guys because when you came up here and we asked you to perform, we it kind of just, fell like... Yeah, and you're right. Oh, and you had the school. So, so I inspired fine. these women. You did. Yeah. Yay! So shout out to Ms. Jones. Yeah. So you are in a relationship with... I'm oh. having fun. I'm not in a relationship. Nice. Oh, I mean, oh you got it. Exactly. Which one is it that you're dating? Or going out with or having I'm, fun? I'm, I'm just, I'm getting the no cue. Uh, that's what you call it now. We call it sex. <laughs> But well, if that's, if that's what you call a sex, then you need a little bit more than that, because oh! I ain't getting that. You gotta work harder than that before you can get that. If you come to me in any other day, in any other situation, and you ask me who I'm having sex with, you get hit, because that's not your business, <laughs> you know? Now, uh, Aubrey, yeah. did he have issues with you running around with pregnancy tests and carrying on <laughs> Were you pregnant? No, I wasn't pregnant. It was just a bad picture. You know, stretching it out, making you drama. Were you sleeping with a mill? No. You're not like bad boy for life? I'm bad boy for life, but not oh, that mm. kind. Oh, y'all just yeah. gonna know. So a million records later, how do you feel? Fantastic. Like, you still need to work harder. <laughs> no, it's the second album, you know? And we gotta really, you know, prove ourselves. We wrote at least six songs, and we really fought tooth and nail to get our creative vision What is across. the single that you guys are competing with the boys? Damaged. 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 Can we get the single on? Yeah, yeah we'd love sure. to. I tried every remedy and nothing seems to work for me. Baby, baby, this situation's driving me crazy. Crazy. The one before you left me so damaged, 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 damaged. I thought that I should let you know. And my heart is damaged, damaged, so damaged, so damaged. You can blame the one before. Danity Kane. You know what? Today was really easy with Miss Jones. She was really nice to us, and it felt good. Hi, ladies. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. And next, we'll have, I want to call them something. What's their name? Ben. Who cares? <laughs> Really? We did real good. But I think the boys, I think they don't really know what to expect when you're going into Miss Jones. They don't really know what's about to hit them. The guy band is here. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to see Miss Jones. And you know, everybody says Miss Jones is real tough. So the ladies, of course, just left. Girls got that little thing about going to Miss Jones, but we're going to charm her and we're going to show her why we call day 26, baby. It's 844, Miss Jones in the morning. And of course, I encourage you guys to call in if you want to speak to the guys from the band. And Donnie is here as well. Come on. You got the guys from making the band. You got Donnie. Six guys, one girl. Miss Jones. Oh, look how skinny you are. Yes, you do. I swear wow. to God. You, you looking so beautiful yeah, right are. now. Like, Thank you. Oh. The thing about Miss Jones is, you know, you got to show a little charm. She's a woman. Then you got to come at her with that, that, that soft side. You got to make her feel real special. You got to make her feel like a woman. You know what I'm saying? You got to tell her, you know, what's up, baby? You know, you look real good today. Oh. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> no, you do. You look like you are. <laughs> we all just compliment Miss Jones and tell her she's looking really good. She's looking really slim. And it worked. You guys have a single that's competing with the girl singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got me going. Did you guys all contribute to this song? Yeah, yes, we yeah. did. Yeah. Are you guys getting along well, or yeah. are you? Yeah, like we don't. We all, yeah, we all have arguments now. Yeah. We'll punch each other in the head, you know, and go the next day and keep it moving. So can you guys do something for us off the top? Yeah, come yeah. do the single, yeah. Um, yeah. Come get me. Can you do something outside of the single? Because we just played it. Like, I just, just, play it just played it. Yeah. Don't wanna play no games, I want you exclusive. Ooh. Baby, we should just do this with a feeling so strong. How can we go wrong? I want you, girl. I need you, girl. Oh, 
Why they all looking at me? <laughs> so, Donnie, how do you feel? Like, this is a unique situation that you've been placed in because you didn't make the band, but that's how you started. That's how you got your opportunity. Yeah, I mean, I, I used to sing in groups, too, and then I always pictured just being in a group. But once I got in the studio, I hooked up with the right producers, it all just, like, started clicking. Now, yeah. yeah, Donnie, sing. All right. <laughs> this one's called Dr. Love. It's one of the songs on the album. Okay. You could call me the love doctor. I'ma make you feel better. But sometimes pain is pleasure. Ooh, here's what I'm that's, gonna do. No, that's good, nice. Justin. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> like that song is kind of Justin-ish, but a lot of songs are more in like a Prince kind of vibe, like just crazy different. No, they're more in like a Donnie type yeah. of vibe. They're they're Donnie vibe, but exactly. yeah. I want to know which members of Danny Decay are the freakiest. Like, I mean, you've been in there with them, y'all laughing, y'all smiling. Go ahead, who's freaky? I mean, they, they are beautiful, they are freaky. I, mean, it's... Oh, <laughs> yeah. I love these guys. I actually like your things better. So, everything went great with Miss Jones. She actually likes us. She couldn't even make fun of us because she got along with us, so. See you later, Miss Jones. So we're going to be heading out on a promo tour. We'll go promote our albums and our singles out to all the different radio stations across the East Coast. It is the boys, it is Donnie, and it is us. Oh, we're going to be with the boys? Tour bus, small spaces, big smelly boys. We're really excited. Oh, who are these hot bitches on the cover of King? I can almost assure you some drama. <laughs> we are on a bus to do some radio promo touring. All radio, all the time. Every city you can hit in a really short amount of time. <laughs> It's gonna be so good though, babe. Yeah, so I feel a little bit like... Relieved? Yeah. And your album sounding so much better. Can you imagine if they would have had you finish up on some stupid shit in Miami and then put out a bad album? People would not have taken me seriously. So today we're heading over to XM Satellite Radio. Welcome to the city, sexy chocolate. We have people in the building right now. Uh, it's a movement. Danny K, day 26, and Donnie. Usually when you go to different radio stations, only the city can hear you on the radio, but at Satellite Radio, the whole world can hear you. Is there any hooking up? Is there any loving going on in there? Could be. You saw me in dog talking. CNN news. Keep no secrets with a whole bunch of people. It's like, dang, y'all supposed to be on my side. Okay, so goals for Danity Kane for this year, with this album coming out. What's the Diamond. 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 Saturating the market. Okay, making the band goals for this first time out. What's your as a team? You guys coming together? Diamond. That ain't too high. Diamond. You can't go higher than that. Exactly. That ain't too high. I want to make a little friendly wager between my my brothers right here. Is gonna have the most downloads. Who's gonna have the most requests? Who's gonna have the most oh, things you know, for this single? Well, be Danny Kane. Kane. Not, Danny Kane throws out this bet. Whoever sells the most songs on iTunes the very first week wins. Whoever wins has to take us out on an amazing, no. expensive dinner and give us pedicure. Yo, this is not a fair bet. Y'all got a fan base, a crazy fan base, but at the same time, I don't back down from nobody. I take y'all bit. Big Mike, I want you to kiss my feet. God help us if we lose, because I don't know who's looking Mike's feet. Our robber. Thank you. They know what they're doing right now. And they look like y'all sleep. Y'all trying to get a free meal and a free ass feet massage. I mean, Donnie, Donnie. Enjoy your time at the number one spots on the radio for now, because when April comes, oh, I mean... Oh, hey, babies, babies. <laughs> Got him singing it already. <laughs> All right, so we wish you guys a lot of luck. You know, keep the bad boy movement flowing. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bad boy movement is out here. Next stop, Philadelphia, city of brotherly love. Power 
Radio.com, MCV, Danity Kane. Talk to me, D. Our first single off of our new album, our sophomore album, is called Damage. And the new album is called Welcome to the Dollhouse. Doll House. Okay. And it will be out in stores on March, March 18th. High five. Have you guys experienced any damage throughout your lives? Yes, of yeah. course. A lot. I think that's that's something that, this song is something we can all really relate to, just the fact that everyone's gotten their heart broken at one point or another. I'm sure every woman in here can like, totally. hello, can I get a round of applause? Totally. Who's been damaged? Nobody's been damaged. Even though the guys don't admit it, they've been they, through some They've been damaged damage too. To <laughs> some, somebody's thing thing that got them crazy. We all need some band-aids. <laughs> What's it like being in a house with the guys this, this time around? <laughs> they were they were nice. They all cook really good. They uh -huh. clean. They would pick up after us. And they were like the women. Oh, yeah, yeah, I bet you did, friend. <laughs> yeah, we brought you, home the bacon. <laughs> we kind of reversed the roles. Like, the, the guys are really sensitive about a lot uh -huh. of things. And we were just like, yo, it's time to work, baby. I got to go to work, man. Leave me alone. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm focused. Cook me some eggs. I'll be down in a second. <laughs> oh, women like, unite. Yes. Yes. Women unite. Girl power. High five to that friend. Totally. Can we bring in my boyfriend? Oh. Power 99 friends, are you ready to see the hottest, young, sexiest group of all time? MTV's Making the Band 4, day 26. Donnie, get your sexy cell phone out here. <laughs> Day 26, we love you. Donnie, yeah. friend, can I just tell you, before we even yeah. say hi to anybody else, Yeah. hi. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? The radio host, she couldn't take her eyes off of him. He's going to be like the cream in my she coffee today. Spent. Check. Check. You can hear me? Don't stare at me. I just want to make sure you can hear me. No, 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 no. no. I, I can hear you. The very first time that I saw your brown eyes, your lips said hello, and I said hello. He starts singing into her ear and all like ooh la la. And this lady is going crazy. She's like really like, oh, oh my God. I will be sure that the lady just like you. And I'm over on the side like, dang, daddy, go ahead and do it to it in, brother. We want to hear Big Country, Mike. Come on. Introduce your first single. Oh, introducing that number one new single. It's called Got Me Going. I'm telling you, some fire is blazing. It's the hottest track out there right now. So what I need y'all to do is go vote for that and show us some love, and we're going to show y'all that love back, baby. All right, yeah. Princess Dallas live right here on your Power89.com. I kind of sense a little competition between the two of you guys. Like, the girls have a single out, maybe damaged. I mean, damaged on iTunes, yeah, right? Damaged. damaged. And we got a single out called Got Me Go. <laughs> so, Wait a all minute. the beautiful I'll ladies of Philadelphia, go and <laughs> get it. Got me going. Got me going. Got me going. Is there a wager with this friendly competition? Um, who's going to yes, sell there them? There is. There Come is on. a big wager. Um, uh, whoever um, sells the most singles at the end, the uh -huh. end of this week on, on iTunes. Um, on iTunes uh -huh wins, uh, they have to take us to dinner. Yes! And a pedicure. Big Mike said he would lick between my toes. I did not say That's nasty. So y'all go get our single so we ain't got to massage no feet. <laughs> Mike, can we see your feet? You want to see my... Can, can we get it? Yeah. Um, Mike, make sure it's a good foot. 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 Ooh, child. If I lose and have to lick between his toes, I will be getting a stunt double. I told you again, both singles are available on iTunes. Yeah, both of them are available on iTunes. Go get our single. <laughs> got me going. Go get damaged. I can't believe damaged. you go by damage, damage. but you got me going. Damage. Tonight we're going out to another club to stir up the crowd, play our singles, have fun, you know, the usual. Competition thing going on with us and the girls. You know, we're trying to see whose record to pop the most, you know, who likes whose record the most. All the girls were loving damage. All the girls were grabbing, like, oh my god, I'm so damaged. <laughs> the 
DJ plays Danny Kane song. And then... That's not doing. Hands down, the crowd reaction to our song was a lot better. So, yeah. Like, you, come on, you're usually like the sweet one. What's going on with you? At this point, I don't I don't really know what's going on. has gone on with Q at the club tonight, has now followed us all home, and we all have to deal with it now. Yo, Q. Q. I'm leaving. I'm out. I'm not about to be on this episode. I'm tired of Danny K talking about us when we show you love. All we do is show you love. Has Danny K said anything about Q? The club, Q got into it with Don. It spilled over to mix the pains with Danny Kane, so it was all a big confusion thing going on. We showed you love. We showed Danny you love. Don't and all y'all do is Why is she thinking Danny Kane is talking? Let's talk about. Let's go. Oh, don't know what they arguing about. I don't know what happened at the club. I don't know the ride home. Well, let's make sure shit came back. I don't know what they arguing about. I don't know what happened at the club or on the ride home. Their relationship can't be a Danny Kane boys group. I know. No, nope. their relationship is their relationship. We don't. Say about it. Tomorrow, let's just talk about it. I'm gonna be expressing disrespect for nobody from Danny Kane no more. And I put that on my daddy's grave. Nobody's disrespect. Danny Kane no more. Q. That's not. You good, man. I love you. I'm fine. I love you. Just calm down, man. It's over. Even though they talked about us, I was offended in the air. They constantly talked about us, and I'm tired of that. I've been holding my tongue. You know what I mean? I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. I never said anything bad about them, none of them. They say, as soon as they walk in the radio stations, they be like, ooh, they been in on y'all, like, just saying that we talk all bad about them. Then they get on the radio and retaliate and talk bad about us because they think, but they think we do. I don't trust nobody right now. There's gonna be arguments, there's gonna be fights and shit, but at the end of the night, I just feel like everybody should at least have loyalty to each other because we all right in the same situation. If we all ain't got loyalty to each other, though, we're not gonna never reach no goals that we supposed to reach, especially as a team. We should be able to try to build a new foundation because what we got right now, it's not gonna work. Yep, I don't need this. this. Tonight, Diddy's called me into the studio. Me and Puff gonna have a session. He finally picked a single. He says it's there. We just gotta put a little bit of flavor on it. Yeah, so we're gonna try to accomplish today. We're gonna try to get you your first single. Okay. So um, the thing today is to really, to try to just play around with certain things. You know, soul diggers, they got like unique sounds. We, I'm gonna try to accentuate those sounds and add a little bit more soul on top of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I've come to like, you know, give you a little tan. <laughs> No sunscreen, you hear me? I'm only gonna have black friends after this. No, no, you don't have no more white friends. <laughs> no, you're hit, for real. <laughs> you hear me? I don't want you to call no more white friends. These are your friends right here, look at us. <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, let's not up this money now, you need black friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> but you all gonna have more black friends with this, though. Let's bring it to perfection. We got work to do, Corte. I love my single. Once Diddy does his thing on it, I know it's gonna be crazy. Perfect for the clubs, perfect for the radio. So working with Diddy at this point for me, I mean, a lot of people ask about it, and here I am living it. I'm in the studio with him, he's right next to me, and he's asking me what I feel needs to be put into the song. He trusts me as an artist, and we're being creative together. Now, baby, I'm doing all that when he gets up. 
You guys ripping on me? Uh, yeah. He don't know, he just getting background vocal credit. <laughs> <laughs> the Diddy next single. Let me take you to the stars. Go back a little bit, go back a little bit for that chorus. Uh. It's just crazy because this is what I've been dreaming of my whole life. This is my first song that's gonna be played on the radio. Like what? That's crazy. I'm so sorry. Q and I had a huge and epic fight, but it's, I feel like it's in the past, and I want to let it go. I feel bad. Did you just hit me with that pillow? I did. You are wilding out. <laughs> I've beat you before with a pillow, did I not? Yeah. That's, when you, you were, that's when you were nice to me. You left me and you got real mean. Your moment. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, but for real, for real no. I really just want to see you. You want to see me watch? And watch the movie. Because I wanted to eat some food. That's really what I get. I actually really want Did you really just come for the food? No, I didn't come just to eat food. I came to see you. You're blushing. You're like, it's not cute. <laughs> well, you know, at the end of the day, if you would have came with some sweethearts or something. I guess we got an issue. We all beef. Unless we got a fight. I guess we got a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I just got news that Diddy is inviting us to dinner. Like, what? Big dinner, us, Vanity Kane, Donnie. What the hell is going on? Just to let everybody know, like, when he comes, it's usually not a good thing. <laughs> Where are you at? I'm in the middle. I don't want to sit next to the boss. We're not sure what it's about. Hopefully, um, we won't get yelled at or anything. Mm. Yeah. Hey, what up? How y'all doing? What's up? Y'all tired? Why it's so quiet? How's everybody doing? So ain't nobody got no, no stories from the road? What happened on the road? I seem a little... Ladies, y'all seem a little blase blah. I don't know, I think you just had that effect on people. You come in the room and everyone yeah. stands at attention and just waits to hear what you have to say. Oh. Wow. What do you have to say, Sean John? I've been listening to some of the interviews. You know, and I wanted to talk to y'all about the importance of understanding what we're about to do. You know, this whole industry is based on beef, who's beefing with each other and controversy. But my dream was to have us, like, kind of show another side. I can't force y'all to get along, you know what I'm saying? But I just think for us to protect what we're trying to do, we need to be real, real smart. Y'all got to really watch for the landmines on those questions so it don't go away from the music. You know, try to always support each other, you know what I'm saying? Try your best to get to the point where y'all will protect each other one day like family, like brothers and sisters. It's a blessing to not have to be out here on your own, you know? And um, can we get those shots? Let me get 22 shots of tequila. Uh, chill. Here's to the blessings that we have, being able to do what we love doing, and you know, here's to family. Yes, sir. How does it feel? Your record just dropped. Y'all just finished the album. How does it feel? I feel weird. How do you feel? What are you thinking? <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking. I wanted to have y'all all come out to dinner tonight to be able to express to y'all like how I felt. The reason why we started doing making the band was to give people opportunities and you know help people's dreams come true. And what I love about this game is to be able to watch y'all from the first times y'all came in. I remember like the first times that y'all all walked in front of me, like the way y'all looked in, 
and like you know the, everybody's vibe and especially Danny D. Kane to see like you know to see like y'all mature so much so you know what I'm saying it's, it's such a blessing you know what I'm saying we getting a chance to do something that we really love and when I look at like Danny D. Kane it's like I know that um y'all deserve it y'all ain't like the little girls under the wing no more y'all graduated I'm real real proud of y'all I'm blessed to have y'all on my label you know just thanks a lot for 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 trusting me and like listening to me Shot yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all my superstars. You know, y'all made it. Where were you at? My superstars. <laughs> y'all my superstars. Danny Kane. Yes, sir. And so the guys listening to your album after listening to the girls' album and after working with Jodeci and New Edition, y'all are up there. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's a huge compliment. Y'all got a great album. I know people are going to be blown away. I know when people hear your stuff, there is no way they thinking that they're about to hear what they're about to hear. But y'all should definitely be proud of each other. Don't take it for granted. And y'all gotta really count your blessings that y'all got each other. Donnie, you got something real special, man. You really like a nice person inside, you know? And working in the studio with you the other day was definitely impressed. You have a big single on your hands, you got to try to take advantage of their momentum. You gonna have to come with it. You know, they, they done raised the bar to a whole nother level. Just overall, I just wanted to say to everybody, you know, I'm definitely just proud of y'all. Y'all took everything that I threw at y'all. You know, my style is, you know, real, real direct. I apologize if there's any times that, you know, your feelings was hurt because of me being hard on y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely all about tough love and wanting y'all to be the best. And to the guys, I'm gonna just keep being hard on y'all asses and breaking y'all all the way down to y'all just be crying in this Now I'm with y'all. Do you know who won the iTunes? We did the iTunes bet. Yeah. The bet is that if we win, the boys have to take us to dinner and give us a foot massage and a pedicure. I have the results. You made a bet, you gotta stand up. I ain't saying about licking no toes, though. Stand up, you gotta lick my toes. So, the winner of the bet, by an overwhelming 75%, the superstar international, the bad girls, Danny King.